Today we're going over a quick video on creating agent skills in our Chase Data Cloud Software Admin app. When you log in, you need to head over to the Advanced Options menu, which you can get to by clicking on the three dots and choosing Skills. Once you open that module, you will be presented with the option of choosing which agent skill at the top. In this example, we're going to create a new one by clicking on New. We must type out our agent skill name and click Add. Now when we clicked on the drop-down, our new skill will be visible and we can select it. Notice we have the option to delete an agent skill from our inventory, but if we decided to do this, all agents who possess that skill no longer have a skill assigned to them. Taking a look below, you can see Available Campaigns and Active Campaigns. This is where you will assign which campaigns these agents will have access to. Note, if you do not select any campaigns to move over to the Active side, all campaigns listed in Available, our agents will have the ability to log into. Let us select some campaigns and click on the right arrow to move them over to the Active Campaign side. Once that is done, we can click the Save icon to apply our change. Next is our Custom Field tab, which basically allows you to limit the outbound calls passing to the agents. A simple example would be to select a specific state. This in turn would only allow calls that are within that selected state to be sent to the rep with this skill. Please note this only works for outbound dialing modes. Moving on is our Call Queues tab, which allows us to assign dial options in an IVR for our inbound callers. This is when someone calls into an office and gets a recording, prompting them to press a key to reach a certain department. Please reference our inbound video in which we exhibit the flexibility of our IVR and create some inbound call flows. The Ring Groups tab will give you access to all of the inbound numbers you have in our system. You can sort by any column header you see above. A popular column to sort by is the active column to see which inbound numbers you have available for these agents in this skill. You can easily set any number to active or deactive by clicking on this radio button. The other two options we have on the screen are choosing the priority of these inbound lines when they are being delivered to your agent skill group. The higher the number assigned, the more priority for your inbound call on that line will have. You can set a delay in seconds for each inbound number. For example, if you would like the system to hold on an inbound call so that specific skill answers the call first, you would set that delay here. Lastly, we have the settings dropdown which is going to mainly customize what our agents have access to. First is agent display. Here you have the options to allow your agents to use call history, ability to log into any campaign regardless of skill assignment, and allowing them to chat with other agents or not. For this example skill, we are going to just allow them to see their call history. Let us move on to the Outbound tab, which is going to begin with allowing your agents to accept outbound calls from other campaigns aside for the one they are logged into. So instead of dropping a call immediately, the system will overflow the call to an agent with this enabled. Using this will help to manage your abandonment rate. This occurs mainly during multi-line dialing and more than one line gets connected for the agent, so the secondary line will go to available agents with this setting. Next is their ability to add a new record to the system and dial out at the same time. This is a great way to store agent entered information into your system. This also includes a record lookup based on the phone number. A useful feature is allowing agents to use copied phone numbers quickly for manual dials by the use of a single click. So when they copy a phone number from a website or CRM for example, the system would automatically prep for a manual call to this number. You also have the ability to retain your agent specific callbacks. This means that the callback will remain with the agent even if the person calls back into the system for example and making the system do a time zone check on all manual dials before making the call. The system will warn the agent that the phone number is outside of dialing hours. Up next is our inbound call queues tab, which to start is allowing your agents to accept inbound calls or not at all. If you disable this setting, agents with the skill will not be able to receive inbound calls. 
have the option of displaying to your agents the inbound calls that they have access to at the top of their desktop application. This is useful in letting your agents know how many calls are waiting to be answered. Send last answer calls to personal inbound queue. Basically, the system will try and route the call to the agent that handled the call last. You can automatically create agent-specific callbacks for all of your missed inbound calls. This will randomly assign the callback to one of the agents that have this skill assigned. Training mode tab is next. This is about our training environment for the agents. You can allow them to screen share with the trainer assigned to their account. You can allow or disable the ability for the agent with this skill to be monitored with supervisor tools. You can allow your agent to monitor others like their assigned trainees without notification to the trainers. And you can give your agents the ability to reject any kind of screen sharing to their desktop. Moving on, we have our Trainee Notifications tab, which will be the notifications to the agents from the trainer's actions, like notifying the agent when they're being monitored, also notifying them when their screen is being viewed from the supervisor logins. If you would like to have hidden oversight, in this case, you would uncheck both of these options to stay behind the scenes. Finally, we have our Data tab, which gives us a ton of options. We will go through these quickly, to start the first option of allowing your agents to look up their own call history or not. Basically, this would allow them to look up records that they have called. Next is allowing your agents to use a tool for manually inserting individual records into the campaign they are logged into. You can allow agents to search for leads via Smart Search. You can allow agents to use bulk edit tools on their own leads in the system allow agents to delete their own leads, you can allow them to export their leads, you can grant advanced search functions to your agents in their quick search, you can allow agents to look up all leads in the system, and lastly you can disable their ability to edit call info in general or just basic call info if you would like. So once we have made all of our selections, we can click Save List at the top of our screen and we have finished creating our new agent skill. All we would have to do is go back into Accounts and assign our agent accounts of our choice to this new skill we just have created. Now this is going to conclude our video on creating agent skills in Chase Data's Cloud Software Admin application. Please stay tuned for future videos from Chase Data and thank you for watching.